Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I throw a vase. Because I'm right-handed, my hand position is at 4, 5, 6 o'clock. I'm pushing slightly forward. My left hand is just supporting the clay from the opposite side. Once I feel like my ball of clay is centered, I'm going to locate the center of the clay. I use my thumb to do this. Once my thumb is not sliding around, I press down on my thumb, creating a little dip. Once that has been established, all I do to drop my hole is curl my hand, my palm over, and drop the thumb. I'm going to use my right hand to support my clay from the outside, my inside hand, or my left hand here. All I'm going to do is squeeze or pinch out, making sure that the bottom of my vase is nice and flat. Ideally, when I tell my students that you're throwing a vase, Keep your bottom about a quarter inch to half an inch thick based on what kind of foot you're going to put on this vase. I pull my cylinder up by keeping my inside hand slightly higher than my outside hand. When you're pulling your cylinder, take your time, go slowly. If you go too fast, you're going to create uneven rings around your cylinder. Depending on the size of clay that you started, your cylinder might take multiple pulls. So take your time. Try not to knock your cylinder as you're pulling up. If you do, not a big deal. Go back in, collar it. I try to maximize my clay usage by just taking the clay at the bottom and working it back into the cylinder. Now, like I always tell my students, have an idea of a form that you're trying to achieve. It gives you a good starting point when you're trying to shape it out. At this point, because I'm satisfied with the thickness of my cylinder, I'm going to shape my vase out. Now. When I shape my vases out, I always start at the bottom. I work my way up. You'll find out that if you start at the top, if your neck or your, sh uh, your shoulders, neck and lip is too narrow, you might not be able to get your hand back in your cylinder to work on the body of the vase. So like I said, I tend to start at the bottom. All I'm doing at this point is taking my sponge and applying a little pressure outward. I'm satisfied with the body. At this point, I'm gonna clean up the shoulder, the neck, and the lip. I usually use a metal rib when I'm done with my cylinder to kind of clean off all the excess slip that's kind of built up during the throwing process. And that's how I throw my vase, okay? Good luck. Throwing takes a lot of practice. Be patient, okay? Use your time wisely and you will be good. See you later.